Hey guys, my name is Nikki. I want to welcome you here to Carrie Grace. All right guys, so today we're going to talk about fly lady routines. We're going to be talking about the morning, the afternoon, and the evening routine. And we're going to talk about how we can really make these work for us. Now, if you have gone through the 31 baby steps, or if you have just gone to the fly ladies website and gone to the launch pad, you will see a very lengthy list of things for a morning routine, an afternoon routine, and an evening routine. And I don't know about you, but when I look at that really long list, it's a little bit overwhelming to me. There's also several things on the routine that I feel like they're worded in a way that like I know what she means, I know what she's talking about, but I feel like I could word them differently so that they make more sense for me. That is what I like so much though about the Fly Lady system is it's really just a guide. You can tweak this and you can really make it work for you. All right, so when you look at the daily routines on the Fly Lady's website, I believe there are, I don't remember the exact number, but it's between like 15 and 20 things. That felt like a lot to me and I really felt like I needed to simplify it so that it worked better for me because when I get up and I look at my routine, I don't want to feel overwhelmed. I really want to just kind of hit the high points, the things that are going to make the biggest difference for me and then move on. I do think it's easy when you see a routine that you really want to do and you look at it and you're like, oh my goodness, if I change this or if I change this, then I'm not even doing this routine anymore. But that's not really the case, y'all. We're just gonna tweak it so that it makes the most sense for us. Let's start with the first one. Get dressed to shoes, including hair, face, brush teeth. All right, I didn't need to write all of that down. I just wrote dress to shoes. I don't have to remind myself that I need to do my face and my hair and brush my teeth. All right, so the next thing, make bed. I did go ahead and write that one down, make bed. Swish and swipe, that's pretty straightforward. I write that one down just as it is. Empty the dishwasher, okay. I left this one off of my list. My kids actually empty the dishwasher. This is a chore that they have had for several years, so there's no reason for it to be on mine. But on my list, I do have put away coffee maker because every morning my husband gets up early, he makes the coffee, and then when I get up in the morning, it's my job to put the coffee maker away. So I added that to my list. All right, so the next thing on the Fly Lady list for the morning routine is to reboot laundry. I chose to just write start laundry because that's how I like to do it at my house. I like to start a load first thing in the morning. So that is what I wrote down. The next thing on the list is to check your calendar and then also to check your control journal. I chose to just leave these off of my morning routine. Now, the reason I did this is because I'm already a planner girl. I write things in my planner. I always have. So I always check my planner. I am working in my planner multiple times a day. I pretty much always know what's going on. So for me, it was just an extra thing to have to write down and check off. So I decided to just omit it because it made my routine look a little bit shorter. Because when I look at a list and it's not long, mentally it's easier for me to get started and get going. All right, so the next several things that are on this list are what's for dinner, drink your water, declutter for 15 minutes, and then 15 minutes of loving movement, which is exercise. Now these are things, the way they're written on here, I feel like they can be at any point in your routine. And for me, I decided to just omit them. If they are something though that you want on your routine, pick. Do you want these in a morning routine? Do you want them in your afternoon routine? Or do you want them in your evening routine? Just pick where they fit the best for you. For me, the reason again that I chose to omit them is because most of them are things that I already kind of do without having to think about. So it just made the most sense for me to leave them off the list. All right, so let's talk about the afternoon routine. For most of us, an afternoon routine is going to be the things that we do when our kids get home from school, or if we work outside the home, the things that we do as soon as we walk in the door. Now for me, when, like, when we're done with school for the day and we're getting ready for afternoon activities and things like that, everything that I do is pretty much automatic. So I chose to just, again, skip the afternoon routine because it's not something that I have to think about. So I try to only write down the things to think about that I actually really need to think about, if that makes sense. So again, if it's something you need to write down, do it. That's why this list is yours. This routine is yours. Make it work for you. All right, so let's move on to the evening routine. So on the Fly Lady website, the evening routine is lay clothes out for tomorrow, check your calendar, 
put things needed for tomorrow at the launch pad. Where are your keys? Spend two minutes cleaning off a hot spot. Shine your sink, wash face, brush teeth, and go to bed at a decent hour. All right, so let's go through each thing. Again, we're really just trying to simplify this and make it work for us. If there's something on there that's really not necessary for you and it's something that you just don't want to do, take it off the list. Maybe you want to rearrange the order. Whatever you want to do to make it work for you, let's do that. All right, so for the first thing on here is lay your clothes out for tomorrow. I kept that on my list, but it's not the first thing. All right, the next thing is to check your calendar. Again, I'm not going to write down check my calendar in my calendar because I have a habit of checking my calendar or my planner, so I don't have to write that down. If you need a reminder to do that, though, leave it on your list. All right, so the next thing is put things needed for tomorrow at the launch pad. That means anything that you need when you walk out the door in the morning, have it in a spot so that it's easily accessible. This is something that we kind of already tend to do at our house, so I don't feel like it's necessary for me to write that down. We also don't leave first thing every morning, so for us, again, it just wasn't necessary. But if you work outside the home or your kids go to school, this is a good one. It's a good reminder to remind yourself to get everything ready the night before so that it is ready first thing in the morning and you're not looking for things. All right, so the next thing is where are your keys? Thankfully, my keys are always in the same spot, so I do not write that on my list. But if you need to write it on your list, write it on your list. I do think it's super important though to have a designated spot for keys and just make sure that every time you get out of your car, you put your keys in that spot and then you won't ever lose your keys. All right, so the next thing on your list is to spend two minutes cleaning off a hot spot. I put that on my list. In my house, we have a particular counter that is the hot spot that I need to check every single day. So on my list, I have two minute hot spot and then parentheses, I put counter. That just reminds me that I specifically need to check that counter and make sure that it's cleared off every day. All right, the next thing on the evening routine is to shine your sink. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that this really should be on everybody's list. On mine is actually the first thing. It says clean kitchen after dinner and then in parentheses it says shine sink. So make sure that every day you're cleaning up your kitchen every night. If you need a reminder to start your dishwasher each night, go ahead and write that on your list because it's really important to remember to start your dishwasher every night so that it is ready and clean first thing in the morning. All right, so the next thing is to wash your face and brush your teeth. Now again, if you need to write this down, please write it down. If you need help remembering to do this, write it down. There's nothing wrong with that. Again, for me, this is one of those things that is automatic for me, so I choose to leave it off just because it makes my list look shorter, and I'm all about a shorter list. All right, so the last thing on there is to go to bed at a decent hour. Y'all, this is something that I have to write down. This is something that I still have to remind myself to do every night. I'm one of those people that tends to try to burn the midnight oil and get all the things done at night after everyone has gone to sleep, but it's not good. It's not a good habit. It's not good for my sleep. And so I do write this in my planner every day so that I have that visual reminder to go to bed. All right, guys, and so the main thing I want you to remember is it's okay to change these routines and make them work for you. I found that for me, the shorter my routine looked, the easier it was for me to just get through it and be done with it so that I could move on to the other things that I needed to do. If you need to add more things to your routine or change words, whatever it is, I want you to own this routine and make this routine a tool that's going to make your life easier. All right, so I'm going to share with you my morning routine and my evening routine. So for my morning routine, I have dressed as shoes, make bed, swish and swipe, put coffee maker away, start laundry. That's it. I do those couple of things and then I am ready to move on with my day. All right, for my evening routine, I have clean kitchen, which is shine sink. I have two minute hotspot for me that's my counter and i actually wrote counter on here to remind me which two which hotspot i need to tackle the next thing i have on my evening routine is to check floors i've talked about this briefly in some other videos this is something that you could consider a five minute room rescue 
Y'all, I've got really light floors. I have two boys that are in and out all day. I have a dog that's in and out all day. It's important to me that my floors stay relatively clean. So every night I just do a quick check. Sometimes I just need to get out the little dust buster, vacuum up the big chunks that I see through from the back door to the kitchen. Sometimes I need to just get out the regular vacuum and do a quick little vacuum. But it's something that's important for me and for my house, so I added it to my evening routine. The next thing I have is to lay clothes out for tomorrow. And then the very last thing is to go to bed at a decent time. So as you can see, I kept my routines very short. I kept my routines to just five things because it wasn't overwhelming and it was just enough to make sure that everything was done. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new to my channel and not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and I will see you guys soon.